Okay, ladies, sun's out, bun's out, and I'm just looking to have a good time without being too hot or just wasting my time. Wig Fever sent me this gorgeous glueless wear and go wig, and I'm going to show you how I get this one installed and styled in five minutes or less. She's absolutely beautiful, so let's just jump right into the install. This is what she looks like straight out of the box. As I mentioned, she is a Mongolian kinky curly lace wig. She's also a wear and go wig, which means you don't have to cut off the lace. It comes pre-cut. Here is a look at the inside construction of the cap. She is a closure wig with a very, very, very comfortable cap. And she also has this adjustable elastic band for a little bit of extra comfort as well as support. I'm going to go ahead and try her on for size just to see what we're working with. And voila. It feels like we're going to have to do a lot of work straight off the back, but I promise you, this is a five minute install. It's super simple and easy. And you guys seen in the beginning as well as the thumbnail how gorgeous she is. Here's a look at what she looks like from the back. This one goes from 10 inches to about 32 inches, I believe, on the site. So you can definitely get whatever look or style. If you want to go for like a little short bob style or you really, really, really want to give length and, you know, turn it up a notch, you can do both. Here I'm showing you how this one fits glueless. You don't have to bond her down at all. So instead, I'm just going to go ahead and tint the lace. I took her off and I just added my foundation powder of choice. And I just literally buff it on the inside generously with the kabuki brush. This is going to warm up the lace so that it blends with my complexion a whole lot better. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull it back so we can work on making her look a lot more snatched. Now, this step is optional, but again, I want mine to look like I actually got it installed, even though we can just plop her on and go. So the technique for me is a dynamic duo. This is where I use a wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. And I really go in and just do as many heat passes as I need to get her super, super straight in the front. I want it to look like it's super, super pre-plucked. You know how when it's pre-plucked and the hair line just looks really, really, really snatched? That's what this technique gives. I'm going to add a little bit of my flexible hold hairspray. And I believe this one comes from Pantene. I get it at Target, but it is a holding spray, but it's light and flexible so it'll give that hold in the front to give me that look I'm going for I want it to look a little bit frozen at the front and then with the parting I'm doing the same thing as I did in the hairline except I'm using the back of the electric hot comb so that I don't damage the wave pattern and more so just flatten the wave pattern if that makes sense so we're going to go ahead and pin the hair up and add our melt belt this is just going to go ahead and melt the lace since we're not bonding her down we want it to look bonded down and we want the lace to look super thin and just glued to the scalp and this is a very good and easy trick to get the job done next i'm going to just go ahead and pull the hair out with my fingers i didn't feel the need to go in with a comb just because i knew my fingers would get the job done because this is a kinky texture you definitely want to make sure that the hair is detangled and you guys can see how gorgeous she looks when she's like detangled and blown out i love the texture as well as the cut so this is definitely a style and a vibe you can pull off with this look or this wig to give you a little versatility when you don't want to wear it in it's like wet down you know mousse down look but today we're going for the wet down mousse down look so i did go ahead and wet it generously and now i'm adding this mousse this one is a bougie mousse from paul mitchell i forgot i had this one in my stash so i pulled it out and i couldn't remember if this one was a love or just a like or a hate so far i think this one is just a like she's very 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 beautiful already without the product and so this product with the dimming brush definitely helped to bring out that curl pattern but for some reason for how, no matter how much product i put those ends definitely needed a little bit more moisture so i did go in with that blueberry bliss i believe it's called um curl product from I can't remember the name, so I'll have it in the description box, but that definitely still did those curls and made them super, super juicy at the end. And then I did the opposite side off camera. And again, you can see how juicy the curls are. I'm super proud of this one. You don't have to diffuse it. I'm gonna just go ahead and let it air dry because honestly, it was late and my husband was asleep, so I didn't wanna turn on the blow dryer anyways. But you guys can see how well the melt bell works to really, really melt the lace in. But to set it off, I'm gonna just go ahead and tint the lace one more time this is the reason i typically don't tint the lace inside the cap before install because i know i'm gonna go back in at the very end majority of the time i did a foundation cream 
um, in the parting as well as a foundation powder along the hairline and you guys can see how that powder just brought the look home it really did make everything melt and blend together and the great thing is that this powder looks good on my skin with my lace whether I have makeup on or not so since we were done in such a quick time and it just felt like I was, you know, I just had a little bit more energy to turn it up a notch, I did go ahead and twist the hair back. And this is just going to show off how beautiful this one lays on the head. Again, this one is glueless. There's no glue. It's not bonded down. It's not even tacky or sticky. It literally is just sitting on top. So I did these little twists and I realized I did them too far forward. So they did kind of look a little bit clown-like, I'm not going to lie. So I did go in and just twist them back a little bit further and that made a huge difference. If I did not mention, this is a beginner-friendly HD lace, 180% density wig. And the dimensions of the lace are 4 by 7 So you definitely get tons and tons of parting space, especially going backwards. And you guys can see how beautiful this one came out. I definitely love this look. Again, you can wear her as like juicy curls or blown out. Before we go, I'm going to show you guys what came in my box. First of all, I love the pur purple packaging. It did come with wig caps, a melt belt. It also came with a rat tail comb. Um, it also came with this like wig band or like hair tie um, as well as your bonnet and the bonnet is double lined as well as a dust bag so all in all i love this one and i love how this one is definitely a glueless 100 percent glueless wear and go situation she'll be great for the pool for parties day and night she's also work safe mom safe and all of the above absolutely gorgeous and you can get her super short as far as 10 inches goes or super long in the 30 inch range Thank you guys so much for watching. Find her in the description box. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.